But speaking of Vince McMahon, looks like Vince McMahon may have to pay this company back $14 million. Get into this new st story of WWE revealing over $15 million of unrecorded expenses by Vince McMahon. Last Friday, Vince McMahon did retire, quote unquote, from WWE at the age of 77. Then today, Monday, WWE revealed that due to, quote, certain unrecorded expenses by Vince McMahon going back to 2006, they will have to restate several financial statements. The statements, the statement notes that the years from 2019, 2020, 2021, and the first quarter of 2022 will be revised as Vince McMahon is going to pay the WWE back those $14.6 million. Now, it is unknown at this time where that money went and why that money went unrecorded. Why Vince used this money, but didn't, what's the word I'm looking for, record it? Well, that's not the word I'm looking for. Uh, financially state why he was using it. And we do know that WWE is investigating Vince McMahon and their board of directors are investigating Vince McMahon as far as $12 million plus that he paid over the last 16 years as far as hush money payments to different women. Hey, Kid Vicious, Vince himself said 77, so I don't care if his birthday's in August. He said 77 himself. I'm sticking with 70 freaking seven. But we don't know if this $14.6 million is all from that because apparently they said that $3 million was Vince's own money. So if we go 12 minus three, that's nine. So 9 million could have been in WWE funds. We don't know where this $14 million went. 14.6 to be more specific. We don't know where it went. We know it came from the company. We know that it's company funds, but we don't know if it went to these hush money payments, if it went to Vince's pocket. We don't know if it was Vince paying out a friend for something. I have no clue. They didn't state, but in that press release they put out this morning, as far as where it is, I'm trying to find in the press release, because there is something to do with the Form 8K filed by the company today. They said our financial statements for the quarter and June 30, 2022 are not yet complete. Accordingly, we are presenting preliminary estimates of certain financial results that were expected to report for the quarter ended June 30, 2022. The primary financial results are subject to revision as we prepare our financial statement and disclosure for the quarter end of June 30, 2022. But then they also had noted that all these adjustments that are going to be made to 2019, 2020, 2021, and early 2022, they want to have made by August 6th, which is a week from Saturday. But it was also noted that they want to have everything fixed and changed and updated by then. It's just a matter of, they said that's the projected date, but if they don't hit it, it's not bad and they're not expected to hit it. But that's the date they're going to try and hit. But Vince McMahon used company funds, which this is the, the, the scare they had all along, that all this money possibly came from company funds. They used company funds and Vince didn't record said company funds. Again, that was the scare that the board of directors would find out. And we don't know if this is from the board of directors. We don't know if somebody in WWE's financial team found this money that went unrecorded. And it's like, huh. Going oh, all the way back to 2006, somebody's working overtime to figure all this out. But Vince is going to have to pay the company back. They said Vince will pay back $14.6 million. We'll see where that all goes going forward. I mean, when Vince retired on Friday, the big, you know, lingering question was, oh crap, what's it going to drop next week? What big story, what big news, what big revelation is going to drop next week? And it's this, that Vince used $14.6 million of company funds unbeknownst to the company and didn't record them. This right here basically tells us Vince ain't ever coming back. Because when Vince retired last Friday, some go, eh, maybe it's a, Maybe it's an experiment. Vince is retired for six to 12 months. And if the company's still running fine and if everything's running good, he'll slip back in. He'll slip back in if he wants to. He ain't coming back from this. 
that he took company money, didn't record what he used it on, and never said anything about it for 2006. That would be, let me do the math here, 2022, 632, 16 years. Oof, ah, oof, ah. So we'll follow this Vince story as well. Let you know if we do find any other updates. 